Hey Camp of Hawks, we're at Coastal Georgia RV Resort in Brunswick, Georgia. Join us as we take you on our adventures for this week. Here, Here we, we go. go. I'm Missy. I'm Mike. And we're the Camp of Hawks. Good morning, Cape Hawks. We are here at Georgia. Uh, I don't know why I have trouble with this campground name. Coastal Georgia RV Resort. Oh, I have trouble with that name. Because there's two different ones. <laughs> there, there is one. There's a Georgia Coastal. Well, I don't know, but this Which is, is Coast like Waynesville or something. Coastal Georgia RV Resort. All right, I'm gonna get a little, a little smart car and take you for a tour of this campground. It is a full hookup campground with trash pickup at 10 a.m. every day. Full hookup with trash pickup. As you can see, they got a nice pedestal and there's my wash bucket because they even have a, if you, if you need it, if you don't have a dual hookup, there's another connection there to wash your RV. They don't mind you washing your RV and keeping it clean. That's awesome. Most campgrounds frown upon that. So I'll get here in a little mo and take you for a tour of this campground. I'll put the drone up so give it give you an overall view of this campground. And it's just 15 minutes max to Jekyll Island. And that video is coming up right in the same video. We'll take you to Jekyll Island and check it out. Really fascinating place. We're at the Grand Design Rally. Grand Design Techs are there right now servicing Grand Designs that need service. A lot of benefit for being a Grand Design member owner and so let's take let's take a tour of this campground here we go I'm looking for the braided bandit. Oh yeah, there he is. The what? The braided, braided bandit. bandit. <laughs> I'm gonna have so many different names. Hey, it's fun. So what are your other names there, Tim? Well, yeah, I got the <laughs> sexy old man crash. and- uh, nice. Crash? Yeah. What happened? Crash and burn. Did you? Well, I stepped over. I didn't know the, the uh, stuff was so big. Tuck and roll. <laughs> I was worried he was going to roll right off that deck into the alligator pond. Really? <laughs> Don't worry. You'd have to go get the alligator shot if they bit me. <laughs> and you know what the bad thing is? I was sober the whole time. What? 
That's a good thing. If I was drunk, it wouldn't have happened. <laughs> there you go. So this island is 5,700 acres. The max length of 6.835 miles. All right, Campbell Hawks, we're on Jekyll Island. I had no idea how big this place was. I figured yeah. Jekyll Island was just a small island where the rich and famous hung out back in the 20s and the 30s. Uh, so we're going to check out on Atlas Obscure. There's a couple places, points of interest. We are going to check out Driftwood Beach. 605 people live on this island. 605 residences. I, I was surprised about that. Ranch homes. Nice there, homes. There's one for sale right now. For $639,000. But we're going to check out the Du Bijon Cemetery. <laughs> du Bijon. 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 A modest walled graveyard where nobody is actually buried. Well, that's weird. Okay. The Horton House, Georgia's first brewery. Hey there, it got caught my attention. And one of the oldest surviving buildings. The Horton House here on Jekyll Island. And Driftwood Beach, constant erosion has created a surreal landscape of bleached wood from uh, fallen trees. So we're gonna check these places out along with the mansion of where the rich and famous hung out back in the day, Rockefeller, DuPonts and all of them. It was, it was termed as the Millionaire Village long ago. The Millionaire Village. Yes, it's a historic landmark district ter termed as the Millionaire Village. All right, we're gonna check that out also. There's 33 historic structures on this island. Huh, go figure. But right now we're at the end of the Clam Road. I think it was called Clam Road. I don't know. Windy Road. It's windy today. It's about 35, 40 mile an hour winds today. It's chilly. And chilly, of course. Can't get away from cold weather for but some reason. But people are fishing and... I mean, there's a lot of people out here for his... I could see in nice weather this would be real pretty to hang out. It was what, $8 to get in? It was $8 to get in. If you're a disabled veteran, you can get in for free. Yes. Otherwise, it's $8 to get in get on Jekyll Island State Park. But they got lots of little shops and stuff, so this ought to be fun. Yep. So here we go. We're going to take you on our little adventures for the day here on the Jekyll day. Island. Woohoo! All right, here we are at Driftwood Beach. Look at this. This is amazing. All right, we're at the Horton Dubijon Nonon House, D-U-B-I-G-N-O-N, Dubijon Non Hotel. House on Jekyll Island was built in 1743 by Major William Horton, a top military guide to General James Oglethorpe and Beer Connoisseur. One of the oldest standing structures in the state of Georgia. So we're gonna check this out. Uh, Missy's more worried about the gators than she is observing uh, the historic site. That's made of shells. Tabby was the building material for the walls. Okay, that's what they called it. It's composed of equal parts of sand, lime, oyster shell, and water mixed into a mortar and poured into the forms. 
the line used in the taboo is made by, by the lime used in the taboo is made by burning oyster shells taken from Indian shell mounds. The trash piles of the Indians. How about that? Now the Atlas Obscura says there are no bodies in this graveyard, but these are clearly marked so from the Dubijon family. I hope I'm saying that right. But apparently Dubijon owned this whole damn island. Crystal. Crystal. Owned the entire Jekyll Island and then sold it. Memory of Marie. Felicit. Refault, born in December of 1776, passed away in April of 1852, 1776. <laughs> Camp Hawks were at the Jekyll Island Club. If all members were present at the table, a sixth of the world's wealth would be under the same roof. We're talking about Morgan and Rockefeller, Vanderbilt. Can't go in there, it's not open to the public, but they were the private. They still rent, they rent the rooms <clears> out. They said they rent, yep, they rent the rooms out. So, private apartments of Morgan, Rockefeller, Vanderbilt, and whoever else. Can't recall. Right across the street from the Millionaire's Club. Here off of Jekyll Island. Look at this whole complex. I would love to see this back in the day. Booming. With the old cars. All right, Cape Hawks, we're wrapping up our day here at Jekyll Island. It's about 15 minutes from the campground. Yeah. Georgia RV. Georgia? Coast, Georgia Coastal. Coastal Georgia coastal RV Resort. Georgia RV Resort, yes. About 15 minutes from the Coastal Georgia yes. RV Resort. Jekyll, Jekyll Island is pretty damn cool. It's nice. Lots to do. Uh, we could have spent a little bit more time here, honestly, if we were. I never did find a map. Uh, to tell us what to do, but we there's plenty of geocaches on this island. If you want, if you're in a geocaching, there's bike ride. There's plenty of old historic things to look at, see, do. Bring uh, your dog. Bring your yeah, bring your dog. Bring your pets with you. Yeah. That's fine. Um, if you have a truck or you're able to bring bicycles here, that'd be great. There's a lot of bike trails. Yep. Or they rent them here. They do rent them. Here. They rent them here. They yeah. rent uh, the golf cart things. Yeah. So you could definitely make a day. Street or two. legal carts. A day or two of it, I think, honestly. Yeah. 
The campground is nice. Uh, if you're greater than probably 35 foot, it's going to be tough in there. But it is, uh, there is a campground here, State mm -hmm. Park Campground on Jekyll Island. All right, we're going to head back. Little Mo here. Head back to the campground and finish our weekend at Coastal, Coastal Georgia, Georgia RV, RV Resort. <laughs> here we go. Today is a travel day for us. We're packing up. We're leaving the uh, Georgia, our coastal Georgia RV resort. There's our neighbors. They got a smart car. Her name is Missy, just like our Missy. They got a pain of momentum, just like we do. The irony of our neighbors. Anyway, we're packing up. We're, we're going to Moose Dock a couple days off some friends, but, and then head to our destination in the Outer Banks that's gonna be our next stop but anyway we, we're finishing our stay here at Coastal RV Resort miss what do you think hello miss what What do you think of what Coastal RV Resort it's a nice looking resort there's nothing to do here there's no I saw uh, shuffleboard, one shuffleboard court, and one foot, and the pool's small. But it's a pretty resort. The night, the sights are nice. I don't know. We were. I don't. Um, I would come back just because it's, it's a clean park. Yes, it's a clean park. <clears throat> you can do fishing. You know, like she said, the pool's small. I can't, I can't imagine when this place is full, that pool is adequate enough to hold everybody. But, yep, uh, I come back, like she said, I come back. Hopefully they'll trim these bushes up this hedgerow. Yeah, you don't, get, you don't have much yard. Yep, yard, that's it, like I showed you earlier. Other than that, go in town, Brunswick in town. We, we, it's a nice old town. It's pretty cool. I like the old buildings and stuff like that. Brunswick's go in town Brunswick visit that if you're in this area if you stay at this location go in town Brunswick go to Jekyll Island and um, St. Simon Island we never Saint made it, made never it. Made it. We'll, we'll be back next year but anyway thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video subscribe below ring the bell for notifications bye bye